Hello and welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about Chat GPT's um, moderation endpoint. This endpoint allows us to send an input or a text uh, to Chat GPT and then it will we can obtain a classification for that piece of text. And this piece of text will be flagged as true or false if it violates Chat GPT's content policy. And it will give us it will give us all the categories and their scores. So categories like hate, threatening, self harm, sexual, violence, etc. It will give us all that information and if it violates any of them it will flag the input as false. Okay? Um I've got here a typical MVC application, okay? And we are going to run this application and see how we make use of this moderation endpoint from chat GPT. So I've just clicked on the start button. The application is building and once we load the application we can make use of it. Alright so this is the application and if you go to the comment section this is my application here and I've got here this video this YouTube video and I'm going to simulate how we add normally add videos on YouTube so here let's say um, I want to add a comment to this video on my application so I click on new and it gives me this text area and I just type whatever I want to type uh, for instance I'll say stuff like I like this video now I was so what the application will do is once I click on create the back end will send this to chat GPT's endpoint moderation endpoint it will analyze the uh, the text and then it will tell us whether this text violates its content policy or not okay before we um, we go through the code let me just run it and see how it works okay so there you go so here this comment was sent to chat GPT and chat GPT effectively said that okay this video this comment is fine okay let me add another one and say okay I still like I still like the video very interesting very simple video well this is a clean content so I don't expect it to be false okay for it to be flagged so again this is the content or this is the input and it's fine okay now if I click on details uh, it just gives me that content uh, comment details now um, let's add a new one this time let's just give it a rude comment said say something like I kill people every day stuff like that this is very rude okay now if we send this to chat GPT I don't expect chat GPT to approve this at all okay so let's have a look okay so there you go was it approved by chat GPT no okay and then now we click here and, and then we can see why it wasn't approved by chat GPT okay so we go through here and these are the categories that I said I mentioned earlier uh, there's hate there's hate or threatening there's violence there's the rest sexual and stuff like that self-harm and when you send a message like this to chat GPT it will tell you that this is violent okay so the reason why this failed or this was not approved was because violence was set to true okay and let's go back to the list so this is how it works now we're going to uh, debug the application step step through step by step okay let's um, again send the same comment I hate humans or something like that human humans and animals but right? stuff like that we're going to send this to chat GPT again this is not the right text that it wants so I'm expecting it to say no okay now let's step through it step by step alright so this is the main part of the application which is the GPT service that I've created earlier 
we are going to go into this message here uh, this method here and what we are doing here is once we receive the information from the front end or the website we are going to take the input okay and we are going to pass that input to chat GPT and get the res results back so let's st step through the code here and let's have a look at what the request is so I hate humans and animals okay what we are going to do is we are going to send a post request to this moderation endpoint and we're going to use um, API key that we have created on this uh, dashboard so if you don't have API key register with OpenAI and grab your own API key so you, you can use I mean this is a, a demo key so I'll definitely delete this one so we have our API key and um, oh no okay let's run again uh, let's add a new one okay let's add a new one and go through it again so we were here so we have our own API key and what we do is we create a header authorization header with the API key as a bearer and then we serialize our request which is just this input into a string okay so it looks like this input equals this okay and then obviously we make sure that the content type is always application JSON okay and then we send that request to this is where we send it to chat GTP we wait for a couple of seconds and then we get the response back well if the response is successful this is what we are going to do we're going to read the response back as string and this is the response let's have a look in a JSON visualizer so this is the response from chat GTP and it tells you the model that it used okay and then this is the actual results so here it says here that the input that we sent to it has been flagged okay and these are the scores and the categories so clearly as you can see here it's been flagged as violence okay and you can see the rest of the um, content categories sexual has been um, marked here as well violence here and stuff so what we do is now that we have it as string we just um, serialize deserialize it back as an object and then we return that object and then eventually we we'll then check whether it was approved or disapproved so we're going to send a view model back to the front end and then we can display the results there and eventually also add the, the comment in our own database or our services wherever you store your models okay and then we return back and this is this is it so yeah definitely this comment has not been approved and if I was creating a proper application I'll probably hide these comments I'll not be showing these ones obviously we don't want to show unapproved um, comments in our section in the comment section so this is kind of way of using this moderation endpoint maybe you have a bigger text input that you want to send to chat GCP to um, analyze it for you tell you whether it's a good content or not you can use this um, service to do that as well and it's a very simple if you create your own service it's a very simple request to chat GTP all you have to do is make a request to that moderation endpoint have your API key and then follow these instructions you definitely send the HTTP request to it and you definitely get your response back and then you can analyze that response is that very simple if you write an article and you want it to be moderated for its content you can also send and uh, that input to this endpoint and then it will analyze it for you and then it will give you the results very simple very straightforward okay thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe